This video will explain Henneman's size principle and how it relates to the activation of motor units. Let's start by imagining we have two cars. One is a typical family car and one is a much fancier sports car. Of course, the sports car can go faster than the family car since its engine has more cylinders, which means that it can generate more force every second. Of course, this also means that it uses more fuel and will run out of fuel faster. This is a good analogy for understanding motor units. If these are our muscle fibers, then each fiber is innervated by only a single motor neuron, but one motor neuron can innervate many fibers. The motor unit consists of the motor neuron along with all the fibers it innervates. There are three types of motor units. Slow, which is like our family car, fast fatigable, which is like the fancy sports car, and if there are a model somewhere in between, then that would be our fast fatigue resistant motor unit. A small alpha motor neuron innervates only a small number of fibers, so this would be a slow motor unit, whereas a larger alpha motor neuron can innervate more fibers, which would make this a fast fatigable motor unit. Now, if we arrange the three types of motor units on a sort of sliding scale, we can see that as we move from slow to fast fatigue resistant, and finally fast fatigable motor units, there is an increased force possible due to an increased number of fibers and also an increased activation threshold. This brings us to Henneman's size principle, which describes the relationship between properties of motor neurons and the muscle fibers they control. In the 1960s, Elwood Henneman observed that a gradual increase in muscle tension is due to the recruitment of motor units in a fixed order according to size. Our slow motor units are activated first, then as synaptic activity increases, fast fatigue resistant motor units are recruited and finally fast fatigable motor units. Their activation depends on the amount of force required to produce a certain movement. So walking might activate only slow motor units, jogging might also activate fast fatigue resistant, and then sprinting would activate all three types of motor units. Henneman's size principle is based on Ohm's law, which states that current is equal to voltage over resistance. We know that regardless of size, the threshold voltage for an action potential is the same for all motor neurons, so our input current remains constant. But larger motor neurons have more ion channels, which means they have a lower resistance. So for the relationship to hold, voltage must increase. So a synaptic input which causes a motor neuron of a slow motor unit to fire may only be sub-threshold for a fast fatigable motor unit.